I came to Turkey in the first instance because this place is the focal point for all of the migration challenges and opportunities of the last couple of years. And so this felt like the place to understand those dynamics, to appreciate the work that IOM has been doing, and to really see firsthand how all of that happens on the ground. So for me, that's key. It's not about policies and rhetoric, it's about impact. The warehouse is incredibly well organized. There's a clear method and they have it down to a T from getting the QR code so that they know that the material is showing up where it's meant to go, to keeping track of what the needs are, to being able to respond quickly. The system here, it's really effective in making sure that we're delivering what we expect to deliver. I know, we all know that being a, a migrant, especially coming from a really difficult situation, Assyria, it's, it's hard, right? You don't know the language, you're learning how to navigate a bureaucracy. I just met migrants who are trying to figure out registration, right? These basic things are really, really difficult to work through. And so having a center where people can get support, where they can find answers, and where they can have a little bit of fun and build a sense of community, it's critical. The danger with the international community as a whole is that once the spotlight has gone, they tend to forget about the needs that remain. The needs don't go away. People are still here. They're trying to figure out how to get basic needs met. And so international support can't stop just because someone is not in the acute moment of crisis. These are the longer term issues that help migrants really transition from crisis situations into situations that are more sustainable.